In this short video, I want to talk about importing video clips into Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker can import a fairly wide variety of clips. In this, I've set up a new collection. I'm going to bring in some movies about a computing pioneer called John Atanasov. And so to begin, I click the Import Video link in the Movie Tasks task pane. And it brings me to my desktop. No, it doesn't. It brings me to my file manager. And I'm going to come to um, go looking for some Windows Media files that I have. And here I'm going to import this video, which is about the origins of computing. And you can see that Windows Movie Maker can import a fairly wide variety of video files. AVI, MPEG, MP2, MPEG, Windows Media, Windows Media Video, a, a wide variety. So in this case, this is a Windows Media Video, so it's going to import without any trouble at all. And here we go, and I can drag that down to the timeline and play. You can see it's a long video, it's 55 minutes, but we're just going to play the beginning of it. 45 years ago, there were... So there we have a nice historical video about early computing. Now I want to go and import another clip that I downloaded from the web. And this is in another folder, so I have to go there. Oh, and I see no items match my search. I know for a fact that there are videos in that folder. But what this means is they're not a, a clip, they're not a file type. If I go to all files down here, we, we see that they're here. They just weren't a file type that Windows Movie Maker recognized. If I click and click Import, I get a message that it's MP4. It's not a supported file type and can't be imported. Not to worry. I fire up my Any Video Converter software. This is a free download from the web. You can get it yourself. I'll show you where to get it in a different clip. I click Add Video. And I need to come to back to the Atanasoft video folder. And I bring in part one. I'm going to bring in part two. And I'm going to bring in part three. And now I've already set up my um, my output. Here it says bring it out as a Windows Media video. And I've set my output folder. And I set it somewhere. Let me go. Here we go. I set the output folder here to any video converter Windows Media video. So now I just click convert. And it's going to take a few moments. So while that's wait, we'll just wait for this to go through. Okay, so here we are almost done after a good long wait. Now, um, there is a, a pay version of any video converter. And so just say, unless you want to buy it, you can just say no. But as you can see, you can put DVD movies on um, smartphones if you buy the professional version. I'm just going to say no thanks because I don't have any need for that functionality. So now I can close any video converter. It's done. And now when I come back to Windows Movie Maker and click Import Video, now I didn't put them in the Atanasoft video, so we're going to go to my Windows Movie Maker, Windows Me Media Video folder, and where did I put them? Perhaps they're in this folder. There they are. From That's part one. part two, and part three. Now, I don't know why Windows Movie Maker does this, but you'll see they if they have, it has brought them into separate collections. I'm going to clean that up because I want them in the Atanasoft collection. So 
here I have part three. I'm going to drag the clip into the Atanasoft collection. And now I can delete. Oh, I can't delete it until I'm off it. I'm going to drag this one into the Atanasoft collection. And I'm going to drag this one into the Atanasoft collection. Now that all of these collections are empty, I can delete them. And when I click on this, I have the three videos that I want from this. I'm also going to remove this from the timeline because I don't want to use that right now. So I'm going to put part one down to the timeline. And the next step will be to clip out what I don't want and keep what I do want. So that's a beginning intro into how to import video. Very simple. The only glitch being that sometimes you need to convert the format to make it acceptable to Windows Movie Maker. No problem. I'll show you how to download any video converter, which is just one of many free video conversion tools, but one that I like because it's simple, always works and does the job.